Hello and good day to everyone. So here's another educational video. This time this is under GE3 Reading Visual Arts. And the title for this chapter is The Language of a Visual Experience. So of course we need to define some terms which are really important in order for us to have a better flow of the discussion of this topic. So we have the first one, Work of Art. It is what the artist makes or puts in front of us for viewing. The visual object that embodies the idea the artist wanted to communicate. So it's the work of art that we see, that we're going to evaluate, that we're going to interpret. And then we have medium, which is very uh, usual to be used when we interpret. It's a particular material along with its accompanying technique, a specific type of artistic technique or means of expression determined by the use of particular material. So the hint here is the material used for the work of art. And then of course, the very important one, we have the content. So it's the meaning or message communicated by a work of art, including its emotional, intellectual, symbolic, thematic, and narrative connotations. That's why I have given an activity in which uh, you're going to uh, know how uh, work of art, specifically the work of art of Fernando Armour Solo, communicates to you. So I have asked these questions to target our goal. We have this ones. What kind of emotion did you feel upon viewing this work of art? Is it pleasing or displeasing? Elaborate. That's for emotional. And then another. Give one word that could describe the picture. Why did you choose that word? Elaborate. For the, that's for intellectual. And then we have using symbolism. Get an object in the picture that symbolizes the meaning of the whole picture. Justify your answer by providing sporting statements. That's for symbolic. And then I have another one. Form a short story out of the picture. Consider the different literary conventions like the character, settings, and the plot for the narrative connotations. Okay, so what are the other terms that uh, we might encounter for the discussion of the rest of the topics we have this one mixed media okay so works of art made with more than one medium so i have here a sample like that one okay you could notice that um the artist didn't just make use of one medium which is uh the paint the paint uh here she has also used uh these uh, paper and then the other so it, it's mixed media now we have another term photo montage the process of combining parts of various photographs in one photograph so this one is famous nowadays okay you, you look at that one okay look at it closely if you're going to observe it and keenly notice what it's made up of okay so that picture is made up of a lot of pictures okay so it formed a very nice picture out of the many pictures of the subject okay so that's photo montage so in order for us to briefly say our visual experience in viewing a work of art we must consider the following questions i have mentioned and the important terms that i discussed and that's it for this video thank you for watching